Hi, in this video I thought we'd have a quick look at using Central Control, which is a fantastic piece of software, and a cheap DJ controller to control Replay and VMix. Um, so uh, I wanted a cheap um, Replay controller, and lo and behold, in amongst the massive list of supported equipment in Central Control is a thing called the Hercules DJ controller. Um, so this is the uh, bad boy itself. It is a USB DJ controller. Um, it's got a load of knobs and faders and a couple of platters. Uh, forgive me for doing that. Um, so let's have a look at that in the context of a VMix. Actually, before we do that, I should have add a couple of caveats. One is I am not a replay operator. Um, I think that is a skill in itself. Um, it's not something I do, I know how it works, um, but uh, I won't talk you through physically how to use Replay, um, just how I've got the controller laid out. Um, I think the other thing to think about is if you are doing this professionally, I would recommend getting a proper controller. Um, I think the best bang for buck is probably the X keys unit. Um, so if you're putting together like a proper pro setup, probably worth having a look at that. But for today, let's have a bit of a play with our USB controller. Um, so what I've done is just set up a basic vMix project. It's got four cameras. They're not really cameras. They're just inputs with numbers. Um, uh, so we've got uh, vMix, replay window, output, and our high-tech controller. So let's quickly go across. Um, so if we start over here, you'll see from my really uh, impressive handwritten numbers um, that these buttons here allow us to grab um, a fixed amount of time um, and then play that back. So if I press the three second button, if you look at the window in the top right, you'll see it grabs that and creates an event. And now if we want to, we can just hit the play button, play that out progress bar will go on the bottom and back we go um, if you uh, if, I, let's be, if I just grab a few more events there um, if uh, if I flick that over to loop now the lighting feedback on this is quite basic um, so I just have either lit or not lit depending on which function I'm using so when it's on this button here it's not lit and it grabs how many seconds is written on the buttons. If I switch it over to here, what this does is allows me to choose which camera angles get played out when I press the play button. Um, so if I select all of these, if you look in the replay window, you'll see that it's selecting and deselecting camera angles. So I've now got all of them selected. So now if I play that event out, we should have camera one, and camera two and camera three and four and back to live um, now if we are playing something out so if I just play that again uh, this here allows me to grab the footage I can manipulate it so if your commentators are like arguing over a foul ball I can grab that move it backwards and forwards so they can have a look at it um, this this knob, this fader here, does the speed, so you can slow that down if you want. So if I just play that again for you, um, I can grab that, slow that down to 50%, or right down if you want, and bring it back up to normal play speed, and let that play through the events, and out it goes. Um, these. Uh, buttons here allow me to go up and down our clip list. Hope you're enjoying the really plasticky click. Um, all of these knobs in the middle here, um, I haven't set up for anything. Um, if you prefer the feel of a, a rotary knob, um, you could set those up uh, to do the same speed control as the faders. Um, so that's that side of it. Oh, these two buttons here allow you to mark. Um, ins and outs um, on a recorded piece of footage. Um, over on this side, um, 
These two buttons up here um, allow us to decide whether we're working on output A or B. So by default, vMix has an A and B output. And so if I flick that over to uh, B, um, you'll see that if I move the platter, that's B moving. If I flick it over to A, that's A moving. So obviously we could queue up different um, clips in A and B. Um, these buttons here um, allow me to uh, do a manual live cut should I want to. So if you look at the um, bottom pane uh, of the uh, or the, the bottom area of the, the replay window, um, you'll see that I'm actually going through those. So if I wanted to jump around whilst playing this out, I could. So that's jumping around four cameras in the A channel. If I push that, these light up, and now I can jump around in the B channel. Um, these buttons over here, so if I want to trim up an existing clip, um, I can use these buttons here. They're marked, they change, change the ins and outs of an existing clip. Um, this button here um, uh, jumps through footage if we want to. Um, oh, I should mention this button up here allows you to go um, in and out of live mode. Um, so obviously if you're editing the timeline, you want to be out of live. If you're in live, then it will, when you push one of these buttons over here, it will grab it. Um, if you understand replay, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, yes, so these are to hot cut. Um, these select the A and B channel, these marks in and out, this jumps through the timeline. Uh, now what's really cool about this is that um, these platters have uh, different touch areas in the center or the outside. So if I move this one over here, you'll see that it's really slow and I can literally get frame accurate with that. Um, if I move this one, I've got this programmed at a different speed and you see that that goes through a lot quicker. And if I touch the outside, it goes even quicker again. Um, so these are actually programmed at three different speeds. So the outside goes very fast, the inside of this one goes relatively fast, and this one here goes relatively slowly. Um, so I thought that was quite cool. And then just in case you want ambidextrous control, this fader also does playback speed. So anyway, uh, that's the Hercules USB DJ controller with central control. Um, so central control, fantastic piece of software, I'd highly recommend it. This controller is, control is included in the base uh, edition, which is just under $80. Um, uh, website for that is centralcontrol.io. These controllers are available on Amazon and eBay about a hundred dollars a bit less in pounds if you are looking at them um, make sure you get this specific one. So this one is designed for um, Serato there are others that look like it they might work they might not I can't guarantee that um, but if you want to replicate what I've done here make sure you get the Serato version um, and I'll put some links in the description anyway I uh, hope you found that uh, helpful and I'll uh, catch you later. Bye.